up a chair and join me today Out in my workshop I'm tinkering away Wand above staring down on me Wonder what my next project will be Working on my Johnson, my Mercury Mark 10 Firing up my Starcraft to fish again Grab your friends and your dog is too To watch Tim's Workshop on my YouTube Hey, welcome to Tim's Workshop. Now we're going to do the uh, oil injection test on the 60 horse Merc. Printed off the, uh, the test on this. And the output we're looking for is uh, 1500 RPM for 10 minutes with the pump in full open position to get 10 cc's of oil in this cup, okay? Or milliliters. I got the, uh, the rod disconnected over here. It's spring loaded, so when you disconnect the rod from the lower carb, it automatically goes up to full position. It's kind of in reverse of everything else. It would go back to the lowest uh, setting, but in the oil pump, it actually goes to the highest. That's convenient. Just disconnect it and you're at the high end of the, uh, of the setting for output for oil injection. We'll turn the motor on uh, 1500 RPM. Fill the cup. I got the uh, auxiliary tank hooked up with 50. 50 to 1 and going directly into the motor since we're taking the oil injection and going into the cup and not into the fuel mix. So so we'll be okay for running for 10 minutes with uh, 50 to 1 fuel going through the motor. I'm going to put it in a barrel so we don't waste water for 10 minutes with muffs. We'll see what we get. So you like the video, please subscribe, leave comments, hit the notification bell. And if you like, give me a like. And let your friends and family know about my videos too. And over to the right, you'll see an upside down arrow. Click on that, it'll give you the description of the video and my email address, my disclaimer, and other information you might be interested in. All right, so let's get going on this oil injection test. Plus, I'm going to be doing an electrical test after that but it'll be separate videos, okay? It's being good. So let's see what we got. 
I think we got over 10 milliliters. <laughs> We have 20, we have twice as much oil, plus or minus three. It's over, but I think the RPM was higher than it was supposed to be. It's better more than less, okay? So it works. Now the next thing I wanna do is uh, pull the uh, oil pump out and see what the gear looks like. See if it is indeed plastic. Some people say it's plastic. So I want to see for myself if it is plastic, and I want to look at the teeth and see if there's any wear. Obviously it's working good, so don't have to worry about it not working. But this is how you check to see if it is working. Okay, so there's two screws. I got the bolts, whatever. I got the, that one out, and then there's one down below here, and then the access, you take the uh, switch out, and you have a straight on shot to get the, uh, the second bolt out, which is laying right here. There we go. So both bolts are fairly long. Okay. So then the, this part of the pump came right off, right? But not the inside. <clears throat> so you get on the, uh, This piece is sticking out a little bit, so you get on it and just pull on it and pull it out, and it pulls the uh, the bushing out. It pulls all this out at the same time, and if you just get the bushing off, then you can pull the rest of it out. So it's metal; it's not plastic, and it looks. You can see the wear, but. Hardly nothing. It's just wearing off the uh, the finish, basically. So that's why this one is a good one. I don't know uh, when they went to plastic, but uh, this is metal. So this will last forever. Uh, the only thing I saw when I pulled this out, though, is the uh, the inside O-ring. It's got. Uh, it's got a groove in it. Now, it needs to be replaced because I looked at the drawing and the way, see that there's one O-ring here, right? On the outside and then this one goes on the inside like that. Oh, like this. That's why it has a little groove in it because there is a groove there. And then this goes over the top of that, like that. So that makes sense, as long as it stays there. Whatever this little small tube is that goes over the side over there, this faces towards that tube. This O-ring is made that way on purpose because it fits this groove there. So we'll figure that one out. So, got it off. I'm gonna put it back together. I should uh, clean the tank out though, drain it. And there's a sensor in here. Make sure the sensor is clean. Put it back together. Anyway, that's it for this, uh, this video. I'm gonna put it back together. It should, uh, I, I'll test it one more time, make sure it's when I put it back together, I put it back together right. Make sure it's getting the oil out like it's supposed to. And then after that, I think we're good. Wires are not burning up, so these connectors are working better than the other connectors. And I read somewhere where these bullet connectors are not very good. They're not very good. So these ones that I put on there are a lot better. So we're just gonna kinda go with it. 
and if I see them starting to get uh, a little toasty, roast toasty, I'm going to change them out and put these, uh, these type of butt connectors on there. I guess still got to clean all these up, but I'm going to do that when I do the coil test, which is coming up. The first test I want to do is this oil injection, and that's done. So there you go, folks. Oil injection works good. So that's it for the oil injection uh, test. It uh, works good. Got to replace the mole rings, but uh, other than that, it works fine. And it's not plastic, it's metal. And it uh, shoots out the, uh, well, a little more oil than what the uh, paper says, but I think uh, the RPM was a little higher than uh, 1500 RPM, but maybe not, you know. Either way, more oil is better than no oil. <laughs> so we're good so if you like the video please subscribe leave comments hit the notification bell and if you like give me a like and let your friends and family know about my videos too so until next time see ya